When you're running an RPG, there's lots of little things you can do to kind of enhance your gameplay. And these aren't mandatory by any means, but they can be neat, fun little ways to kind of set certain moods or to immerse the players in the scene a little better or just give them something that physically represents uh, an item that they've acquired so that they won't forget they have it. They're not going to forget that they have a magical MacGuffin because you gave them a mini or a handout or something that represents it. And these sorts of enhancements can be anything from playing background music when the group's in a tavern, but swapping to climatic uh, battle music when they're fighting the boss, or they get a letter in the mail from their patron sending them on a quest, so you give them a folded up piece of paper that's been wrinkled and is handwritten detailing out what they must do. That's going to be the topic for tonight's little episode. Um... What's a handout, a, a token, uh, an enhancement? What kind of music? What's something that you do outside the game to enhance the game for your players? Or as a player, what's something that your GM has done for you that really kind of made your experience take it to the next level? Um, and I have two examples. The first one is um, I was playing in a D&D 5e game and the GM was actually, he's one of the players in my Thursday night Star Wars game that I stream. And what he did is he went to the craft store and he got these little wooden tokens. And that's all they are, just wooden circular discs. And he put stickers on all of them that represent all the tedious resources that we need to track. Uh, canteens of water, trail rations, arrows, potions, all of that little resource management. Because in this game, resource management was important since we were out in the wilderness. Um, but all that resource management was handled by these wooden chips. And each of us had a little dice bag, basically, that we kept our chips in. And he had one as the GM. And anytime you ate a trail ration, you would just give him the chip. And anytime you got a potion out of a box, he would give you an unidentified potion chip. And then once you identified it or found an NPC who could do that for you, you would turn in the unidentified one and get potion of healing or potion of haste or whatever it may be. And they weren't super important, but at the end of the day, they kind of were because they turned the tedious task of keeping track of how many rations and how many canteens of water and all the stuff that you had while trekking out through the jungle um, was now simplified to these little fun chips that you could toss across the table at him when he told you that you needed to give up your last bottle of water because there was no water around. So, like I said, just fun way to minimize resource management into something that you could fidget with. The second example I have is from a previous Pathfinder game that I had, and this was a real in-depth world, and it was a long-running campaign, um, and the GM did tons and tons of work on this setting, and what the actual handout was is we had been contacted by this deity known as the magician and he was basically a high level spellcaster uh, a wizard who was approaching godhood and so he was basically at demigod status and he had all these magical artifacts that had been scattered across the world and he wanted us to find for him you know dragon ball style and the actual the prop in this example is each of the artifacts was represented by tarot cards. So each uh, suit of the tarot deck was an artifact. Sword for the swords. Um, there was a wand card for his wand. There was a, a, a chalice for his cup. And each time we got these things, each, uh, each one was handed to us. And we, as the party, would decide who would hold that tarot card. And whoever had that tarot card not only had that artifact and could use it, but gained certain benefits. And I won't bore you with all the details, but I actually still do have the notebook, um, even though that was years and years ago. Um, but just little stuff, like the Sword of the Magician card uh, gave whoever was holding it plus two to all knowledge skills. Um, and then it uh, gave you sundering on your weapons and your weapons could resist breaking and uh, the wand gave you plus one on all your saves and then if you were not a spellcaster holding the wand lets you cast magic missile and fireball for a certain number of times a day and then the the cup could generate water weak wine or beer and then if you made water in it you could convert it to holy water and drinking the holy water would uh, give you 
a bunch of HP if you were a good aligned character or half as much if you were a neutral aligned character. And if you were at full health, it would give you a third of that HP and temporary hit points. So just fun little things to hold on to and to tuck in with your character sheet to help you remember that you had that really cool item because not only did you have the card, on the back of the card detailed out what it did. So those are my two uh, examples that come to mind, and I want to hear what you guys have. I want to hear what GMs are using. Is it is it really awesome music? Is it really neat handouts? Is it detailed world maps that each time you explore a new place, you get a new piece of the map? What are you guys using? What have you guys read about using? And uh, what do you think about it? And so that's it for today's episode. <laughs>